Hi everyone. I am going to use these Tangle Speak cards to uh, inspire me today. Um, I had somebody make a comment on one of um, a previous post that I used these Tangle cards that um, as a Christian I shouldn't be using a tarot deck. First off, this isn't a tarot deck. It's tarot-like and um, because of the type of cards they are. But they're, they're not a tarot deck. They're not meant to be. If you read all of the instructions, if you want to pause and read the instructions, the instructions mention nothing about tarot. Um, yes, they do a spread um, that you could use in a sort of a tarot-like thing. These, like those, if you wanted to put out a... Uh, emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual areas. Um, but you don't have to. You know, they, the the uh, words on the back of each of the cards um, just give you an idea or a prompt or something to think about while you're doing your tangles. Now, this person also said that they no longer use the word Zen tangle because Zen implies a spiritual practice that is not conducive to Christianity. And, you know, I'm going, I'm, I, I totally, um, I, I don't agree, but I totally understand their point of view that um, some people might find this to be, uh, concerning. I get it. That's fine. Um, but at the same time, I don't use it in a spiritual way that is contrary or contradicting to my Christian beliefs. Um, I just use it as a jumping off point and a way to find a new pattern that uh, inspires me. So just FYI for that, you know, I'm not, I'm not concerned about my spiritual well-being because of some cards. Um, mostly because I don't put any, uh, you know, even if this was an actual tarot deck, I don't put meaning to the cards. And because of that, they have no power over me. Okay? But if you do put meaning into the cards, um, they could direct your life. The cards themselves can't don't think the cards can actually direct your life but I believe that if you have that belief then once you have a set of things coming forward that you would manifest those selves in your in your own life and I think we can do that consciously or subconsciously we can manifest things to happen in our lives which is one of the reasons why I choose to think about kindness and moving forward doing nice things to one another because that sets an intention for my day that moving forward even when I have a hard day if I keep that in the forefront of my mind I have a better day so anyway just wanted to bring that up in case that person's watching told them that if they didn't want to watch my videos on the days that I do the cards that's cool I understand their thoughts and concerns but it's not one of mine so here's the deck uh, that I haven't used yet. I've got the patterns facing downward so I can't see them and I'm kind of just shuffle things around a little bit. Just going to fan that open, close my eyes and grab a card. That's going to be our inspiration pattern for today, whatever that is. It's called Wingspan and it says Freedom. Wingspan invites you to set yourself free, free from self-imposed limits. What limitations have you accepted into your life which no longer serve you in a positive way? Do all your rules have purpose or are some unnecessary in holding you back? Reevaluate re the reasons you can't and turn them into reasons you can. Allow yourself to metamorphose into a beautiful butterfly you were meant to be. Now, there's nothing there that contradicts the Christian thoughts there's just nothing there right so let's do this pattern here we go 
wingspan looks like that. It's a grid pattern. We're going to do ourselves a grid. And then in that grid, we're going to do uh, an X in each one of those. Each side, each one of those X's is going to get a little triangle. And then inside each of those triangles, we're going to color in. And we can do various colors. And I think because I have the brush markers today, that is what I'm going to do, different colors. Um, these dual tip uh, fine liners were gifted to me by ZSCN. And um, their link is going to be in my description box below. There, I also have it here in case you want to get a 10% off discount. ZSCMFuture.com forward slash discount forward slash Dawn for 10% off. And we're going to give these a full go rather than just the swatching that we did a few days ago. Uh, let's do it on a cream colored piece of paper. Going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Going to make my grid. Um, my question is, do I want, I like how they're, because they've drawn on black with white, their grid kind of disappears as the white. I want that, so what I'm going to do is actually draw my grid in um, pencil. I am going to be kind of free form with it though. And you know what, I'm going to be kind of wonky with my grid. Did you see my wonky pencil lines? Can you see them? Probably not. Yeah, can you see it? I've gone completely wonky. They're there, but they're really unusually shaped, okay? Because I want these lines to kind of disappear. I'm going to just go kitty corner into all these boxes. Giving myself those triangular shapes. Okay, and then this way. Can you see any of those lines? They might be really light. I want them light so that I can erase them. Like that, okay. So I've got myself a grid that's kind of wonky. And then in those grids, I'm going to do these triangles. Um, I'm gonna do them with the fine liner first. How do I want to do this? What color do I wanna use? Good question, because there's all sorts of fun colors in here. I'm feeling purple. Maybe these two. I'm going to do the this color purple first, this number 50, which on my swatch chart is this one. And then I grabbed 56, which is this one. So I'm going to do this dark kind of blue and this purple. Okay. All right. So I'm going to draw in the triangles. I do think, I don't know. I'm just going to 
just going to do this. I'm going to draw in the triangles. And I'm doing them curvy. I'm just kind of following the weird wonky line that I gave myself. These tips are working really well. They're a nice fine line. For their price, I absolutely recommend them. We'll have to play with coloring in more with them to see how they are for coloring, but for the price for drawing, can't beat 60 something cents. What did, what did I say on the last video? 68 cents, I think I said. Per pen. For this size set, it may go down to even cheaper per pen if you get the other sizes. I don't know. I didn't calculate all of them. Just calculated the one I have. super easy pattern. Don't have to think much about it. Just doing these triangles inside those wonky grids. How are you guys today? Hope you're doing well. My husband has a summer cold. I am hoping not to catch it. We have about a month until we go on another cruise. Yes, I feel very blessed and fortunate. Cruise I'm looking forward to, my sister in law, my niece and nephew uh, decided that they wanted to go on this trip. Um, it's the first one that they've gone on since my brother in law passed. We didn't want them to go by themselves. We wanted to really join them, really embrace that time together as family. And then it turns out that more family members are joining us. So now we have a group of how many? We're going to have a group of two, four, six, nine of us all together. That will be fun. I really like this organic nature of this, but still very, you can tell it's a grid. You 
you guys know me I really like an organic pattern you could totally do this as a very regimented grid straight pattern if that's your thing please go for it but you know me I am a much more organic artist I prefer to kind of just go with the flow and have things go as they will because I know I can't draw a perfectly straight line so if my lines are on purpose crooked that's even better for me much less pressure on myself I don't I don't want to be uh, filled with pressure and try to do things absolutely perfectly um, in my art because I know it can't be I already have enough pressures in other places of my life where I need to be my best and when I'm doing my art I want to do good but I don't need to be perfect just very stressful to be perfect more and we're going to go back in with the other color pen and now I'm thinking maybe I don't want it to be the same tone do I want it to be something different contrasty I don't know I think I do. I think I wanted something else. Let's do purple and teal. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to erase all the pencil marks and this will give me an idea if the ink of these pens smear when uh, oops when you erase and they don't seem to be that's good I do know that these are water based pens so you know you're not going to be able to put a water color on top of these if you want to use these fine liners with water color you have to water color first and then use these a lot liners on top because these are a water-based pen and that's not unusual for water-based pens let's do that husband's out there digging in the garden okay so now I do wish these caps would stay on better well that one's not too bad the other way around that they didn't stay okay so let's do that let's do just a the middle part and I'm going to use the brush tip part we'll see how how the quality is for the brush tip can I stay accurate does it start to fray after a while that's always been my problem with a lesser expensive brush tips is that over time they tend to start fraying so that will be something I need to look out for and I'll update you guys as I use these pens um, 
as you know, those other pens that I have, I just really don't like them. But I've been using them because they're all the only thing I had. But now that I have these, 100% those other pens are going to go into my... The kids can use them because then they won't bother me if they get damaged in any way. And they're perfectly fine for kids coloring. So far, so good. Just try to make that a little more. There we go. This is an easy, fun pattern. What's it called? Wingspan. Kind of feels like a flower, but not. I want to go right up in there. Teeny tiny. Can I do it? Yeah? Yeah? That worked. So what was this thing to talk about here? What limitations have you accepted into your life which no longer serve you in a positive way? Do all of your rules have purpose or are some unnecessary and holding you back? Do we all have that in our lives where we have something we've said, you know, I'm not doing that or... Something has to be done a certain exact way. And is that true? And is it holding you back or is it something that is actually serving a purpose? I don't know. I'm trying to think if I have something that's that needs to be changed. There's some things I do that I, I absolutely have to do because I know myself. For example, I set timers for all sorts of things. Um, I've got alarms set, I think I probably have two or three alarms set right now for later in the afternoon. I have to go to work this afternoon. I have a timer set that says this is when you have to get out of the studio. You can't stay any later than this time. I have one that says now you have to have uh, had your lunch. You know, if you haven't eaten by now, go have lunch. That's the timer. Sometimes I uh, get distracted. I'm, I'm good at getting myself distracted, especially with either the computer or the television. I get distracted and not paying attention to what time it is. And I know that about myself. Um, so I set myself timers. And I think that works really well for me, except for sometimes I forget to set the timer. And then I go about my day thinking that I have the timer, and then I look down and the timer hasn't gone off, and then I'm late. So that drives me nuts. But for the most part, setting timers for myself really works. 
So like I said, I have one that says that probably go off in about an hour or so. Let's see what time is it. Yeah, probably go off in about an hour that says it's time to leave the studio. Don't draw any more today, Don. That will be fine. Um, and then I'll have one that says, okay, have you gotten distracted? Did you forget to go have lunch? That's that timer. And then there's the put your shoes on. It's almost time to go timer. And about 10 minutes later, there's the if you haven't left the house yet, you're late timer. Get your b button gear. And I don't know. I didn't used to be like that. I used to be able to just, you know, have a good grasp on time management, but lately time management is slipping away from me. And I know if I don't set those timers, if I don't give myself a, a, a firm deadline, I will just doodle about and not be productive in my day. So that's something that is a limitation that I have put on myself that I, I do need. I need that limitation. Don't know, do I have others that I can get rid of? I don't know that I do. Reevaluate the reasons you can't and turn them into reasons you can. Um, you know, there are some things I say I can't do, and I don't want to change them. I suppose that one day I may change my mind and say, you know, I'd really like to overcome this thing in my life. And let's try to make that a can. I can do it. Um, there's lots of things I can do, but I don't like to do don't want to do, but I can. There are some things that I just, my brain says, nope, nope, you are not doing that. You cannot do that. And I think physically I probably could. Just psychologically, mentally, it just, I can't. Just can't. And I'm not ready to change those things. Is there something like that for you? Things that involve heights is is the thing for me. I just can't. Now, if my life depended on it, could I? Of course I could. But there would have to be some... The... the the consequence of not doing it would have to be much greater than my fear of doing it. Does that make sense? Like going down a an exterior staircase on the outside of a building, you know, like a fire escape. The building would actually have to be on fire for me to do that. Just using it as a as a stairway, no. Nope, not going to do it. That kind of thing. Okay, so. This tip is starting to splay out a little bit. Let me get a, a thing here so you can see. Let me get you all real close up. Can you see how it's starting to bend right there at the tip? 
if I make it flat again, I can kind of twirl it and make it flat again, but it is starting to stay bent when I push on it. You see that just the tiniest little hook on there? You might not be able to see it. It might be something that's hard to tell, but I can tell that over time this brush may start to fray. So that's just something to keep in mind. At the same time, we keep in mind that it is a, a, a really budget-friendly pen, so there's that. There's the, the, the uh, finished pattern, wingspan. Alrighty, that was worth trying out. Uh, I will definitely come back to these pens ag uh, again and again. Uh, came out good. I like this pattern. That, that was a pattern I'm enjoying very much. Easy to do. So you guys, uh, you know, use my experience as a review to see if you decide you want to buy one of these. If you do, don't forget to get 10% off by using my code, which is in the link below, or you can do that. Um, that's it for today. I will see you on another video. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Be the person that you want to have to be. I mean, just, yeah, that's just, just go out and do something nice for someone today. I'm watching a show called Kindness, Kindness Project, something kindness. Anyway, uh, check it out on BYU TV, uh, something about kindness. It's been, it's been fun to watch. Guy who's going around the world traveling on the kindness of strangers. Uh, do I believe 100% he has gone everywhere without any monetary... Thing. I don't, but it, it's it's an interesting premise, and he does get a lot of traveling done on the kindness of strangers. I will see you guys on the next video. Let's have a great day, and I'll be back. Bye bye.